Talia, and I'm recording for the VFS Life podcast. You know, you've been here for a little bit now, so what's your impression of VFS? Our community has so much heart. There are so many people who believe in what we stand for, who feel happy when they enter through our doors, who are excited to see each other and hug each other. Brooklyn Friends School is incredibly busy. Students are doing all kinds of things. So I'm seeing from the little people, our youngest, are already actively involved in the classroom, trying to figure out their centers, the things they love, um, watching middle schoolers, coming up with great ideas about what they want to do for the year. I have two emails from high schoolers who want to present proposals about things that they want to have me consider. So that type of active engagement, less than 48 hours into the back to school, is inspiring. What do you see BFS looking like in the future? So a Brooklyn Friends School that really helps to educate the community outside of ourselves of the values that we've held since the inception of our school. A school that is regarded as one that's willing to have difficult conversations because those conversations help us to improve in our humanity. A school that's regarded for phenomenal thinkers, for the academics that we offer, but a school that's known to do that through collaboration, through risk taking. In many ways, I see us as the antidote to the things in the world that are causing pain. How do you plan to take you know, the values that we hold here and the ideas that we have you know, off of Pearl mm -hmm. Street and mm -hmm. out of the Lawrence Building, mm -hmm. how do we bring that into the world? I'm hoping that we are willing to be stewards of our own work and be willing to share that outwardly. Um, and I believe that that will cause us to be um, like the lighthouses. You know the lighthouses? You can see them no matter how far and wide the waters may be. You can see that lighthouse. I envision metaphorically that BFS is a lighthouse. I love the new office. I love all the artwork. Could you give us a tour maybe? I can. I can. Sure. So <laughs> the first thing is that everything in this office has a story or a beginning. Um, so it's connected to uh, memories made or things that people gifted um, or special places. Much of what you see actually is art. That's my oldest daughter's art. Uh, some of these pieces are really huge. Like this is almost seven feet tall and it's an oil painting. So I put them in print so that we can see them. This, Talia, these two pieces mm -hmm. are from the last class at Edmonton Friends School where I, where I was in lower school. The first grades have a tradition where they are pages to the seniors. And all year they develop a friendship. And when they knew I was leaving, they knew I loved art. So they each created a piece of these around that. The books you see, so I love poetry. Um, so there are books that are poetic in nature or poetic essays. Um, I love messages that tell us something that maybe we can carry in us. So this one, for example, life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the number of moments that take our breath away. This little area is a tribute to um, me and my identity as an Afro-Latina woman. So you see, um, this is the um, maracas from Puerto Rico. This is a sweet grass basket from Sapelo Island, actually, which is uh, the last island inhabited by um, descendants of former slaves in Georgia. I am very much a supporter of everyone's rights, and so acknowledging our LGBTQ plus community. Um, I talked about laughter. Uh, so I talked about dreams, so here you have um, a reminder I just think it's like such a welcoming space, more like a home than like an office. Um, and I feel like if students came in here, they would feel welcomed and safe. I wanted to make it functional, accessible, but also calm and welcoming. That's the last uh, team of faculty when I was head of lower school at AFS. They gifted me this. And the bottom is the meeting house at AFS. 
I took a photo of our meeting house and I'm gonna frame it so that it could be on my desk because every morning I start with a moment of silence for myself. So all the lights are out and I sit in an extended moment of silence looking at the meeting house. So I actually, one of the greatest gifts I got in coming here is I now have a meeting house to look at again. Um, and that feels really special. Yeah, so. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you, Talia. It's been a pleasure.